Now, let's think of an actual, I'm, I want you guys to stay away from the pronouns right now, okay? Let's think of an actual sentence, okay? Uh, who wants to start it? We need an ism to start the sentence, right? Because that's what the Jumla Smiya is. Jumla Smiya starts with a, Brother Faris? Yes. Uh, ism. Ism. Yeah. Right. Notice that the word ism is in ismiya. Gotcha. Right? <laughs> the word ism is in ismiya, Jumla Smiya, the noun sentence in Arabic. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it means in English. In English. Okay. Translate Jumla to ismiya, it means Jumla is sentence, right? Smiya is noun or nounish. Yeah? Jumla is the noun sentence. The noun sentence. Okay. okay, so what does Jumla have to start with? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so first and foremost, it has to start with Yusuf. Mm -hmm. Good. Alright, so I need an Ism. Who's going to give it to me? No, no. I don't want, I don't want a pronoun. Oh. It could be a pronoun, but in this case I don't want one. Oh, you want the actualism? Yeah, just give me, no, well, I mean they're all actualism, but just give me like, you know. A noun? Yeah, give me a noun, I guess. A desk. Desk, okay. A How about we do something more, a little bit more familiar? House. Ah, good. The house. Okay. And okay. bay Yeah, bay The house. Al-Baytu. Alright. Is this a sentence yet? I wrote Al-Baytu down. Not yet. Not yet. No, it's not. Why is it not a sentence yet? Because there's nothing about the house. What are you telling me? So what? The house what? Right? I need that, I need that other half. Al-Baytu. So what is the house? The house is broke. It's good. It's new. It's nice. It's green. It's yellow. It's white. It's purple. It's orange. It's what is it? It's white. Well, not, I mean, you're obsessed with white these days. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote as much as I bait law. Okay. The house is big. The house is big. How do you say big in Arabic? Kabir. Kabir. Yeah. Kabir. Kabir. Al baytu ka bi kabirun. Kabirun. Okay, Albaytu Kabirun. There in, in the Jumlatul Ismiya, we need a Kasra, right? With Alif Ismiya, no? Where do you see? It is Kasra right there. On the top of the Hamza, there's a Kasra. Oh, on the top of the Hamza. Let me do this, let me do this, let me do this. I'll write down here, okay? I'm sorry about that. I'll write down here. Ismiya. Either or will work as long as the kasra is below the hamza. Below the hamza. Yeah. And it's me, yeah. Okay, it was okay to attach the ra here. Do what do you say, ra? At the end, it's attached. Kabir. Kabirun. Kabirun. Yeah. Okay. yeah, at the end it was attached, remember? Okay. It, will take, it will take a letter from the right. It will not take a letter coming from the left. The le okay. That's where it, it gets fussy. Okay. Okay. okay? Uh, Al Baytu Kabirun. This is our Jumlatul Ismiya. We got one. Official. Okay? You guys have just made announcement. <laughs> now watch this. Al Baytu, the house, is Kabirun. What does Kabirun mean? It's big. It means big. What does Al Baytu mean? Big. The, the house. house. What did I tell you the sentence means? The house is big. The house, the house is big. Is Where's big. is? You're like, hey, you're the teacher, man. <laughs> Watch your questions. <laughs> like, who are you talking to like that? What happens is, the word is or are is implied. Implied. Implied, yeah. It's implied. Okay. So you can almost say, there's like a, it's, ma it's, it's in there, it says is, is there. The house is big, it's implied. Or you can also have are. Like, for example, if I said, Al Muslimat Kabirat, uh, sorry, not Al Muslimat. If I said, uh, Al Muslimun, the Muslims, is big or Arabic. are big? Oh, yeah. Al Muslimun Kabirun. Al Muslimun Kabirun. It'll work. Alright. 
Now, to make a jumla ismiya, are you with us, Brother Farah? Mm -hmm. You okay with me? Yes. You not mad at me? No. <laughs> I don't want no trouble. No, no. All right. No, no. Okay. So, al-bayt al Yeah? All right. Now, there are two parts. Actually, before we even get to that, let's make some more sentences. Al-bayt al Where is a... Uh, what, what is another sentence we can make? Give me another one. Like al-bayt well, you give me Al-Bayt first, right? Yeah. Then you're done. Uh, Al-Bayt first. Al-Mudarrisun. Al-Mudarrisun. Mm-hmm. What do you think? How do I say, what is it? Al Mudari. Al Mudari Sun. Al Mudari. Okay, Al Mudari Sun, like this. Like this? No, one. Oh, no, okay. Mudari Sun. Mudari Sun. Al Mudari Sun. Al Mudari Sun. Careful, don't ever trust me, okay? Start out nice, now you are. Al Mudari Sun? Yes. The teacher is? Smart. Smart, that's not a true statement, though. What are we trying to <laughs> <laughs> uh, Something that we already know. Al Madari Su Montaz. Montaz was Montaz. Montaz is the best. Good. Yes. Yeah, okay. Good. 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 Montaz. Okay. That's that will work. Right. Montaz. I agree. Montaz. I don't know. Well, these are obviously these are true statements, but <laughs> let's just go with them, Shah, okay? Al Mudaris, what does that mean? Mumtaz, the teacher. Ta Alif. Oh, I'm sorry. Mumtaz means what? Awesome or? Awesome. I would say awesome. Best. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Al Mudarisu Mumtazum. What does Al Mudarisu mean? The teacher. The teacher, good. What does Mumtaz mean? Awesome. Okay, the teacher. So say the whole sentence for me in English. The teacher is awesome. Yeah, where is it is though? Implied. Implied. Brother Safi, yeah. you're up. Go ahead. Al Kitab. Al Kitab? Al Kitab. Jadid. Al Kitab. Jadid. Jadid. What does the sentence mean? The book is Okay. The book. Where is his? Implied. Implied. Al Kitabu Jadidun. All right. Now we shall we shall take one of these sentences. They'll live. <laughs> I'm on g so people think I'm like at my desk and they can just come. How do you see that? Okay. Uh, Uh, okay. You guys feel comfortable with this? Yeah. Everybody's cool with this? The fires? Yes, the last word here is Jadidun. Yeah, Jadidun. Jim, Dal, Ya, and Dal. Okay. Let me show you this a little bit better. Shall I? Uh -huh. Jadidun. So, Ya, Jim, Dal, Ya, Dal. Oh, that's a Dal. Okay. Okay. Continue okay. 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 Yeah. Jadidun means new. No. Is it new though? Is it really a new word? I think it is. How do you say a word in Arabic? <laughs> no one knows. Oh, ho, ho. Kalima. Oh, okay. Kalimatun. Yeah? Kalimatun, good. So, Al-Kitabu Jadidun. Okay? 
So how do we say the new word? Which new word? Like a new word. How do I say a new word in Arabic? Al-Kalimatu. Oh, that's Al-Kalimatu is new. That's the word is new. Al-Kalimatu. See, it was tricky, right? Hold on. It, it's a trick kind of what just happened there. Because you're like, wait a minute. I said, how do you say a new word? And he said, Al-Kalimatu Jadidun, which is the word is new. Is new. Uh -huh. Ah, so the question is, how does the sentence work exactly? In a Jumla Ismiya, there are two parts. Two parts. The first word, okay, I'm just going to rewrite the sentence over here. Al-Baytu. Kabiru. Al Baytu Kabiru. So in this sentence, there are two parts. You also see two words. But we have this first word right here. We call it something. It's called the Mubtada. Mubtada. This word right here, we call it the khabar. They don't know how to say the word uh, beginning in Arabic. Muqtada. It's not Muqtada. It's Al Bidaya. Bidaya. Beginning. Uh -huh. And if you look here, you see the same kind of word here. Al Bidaya. Ba'da. Muqtada. It's a broken. No, no, it's not a broken. It's... Remember what we were talking about Sarf in the beginning? Weird things happen. You know, certain words sound the same. Actually, we, I need to bring this up. We said Al Baytu Kabirun. Right. What does the word Kabir mean? Big, right? Big, big. big. Where else do we hear a word like Kabir? Nobody knows? Allahu. 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 Akbar. Also, we hear Allahu Kabira. Kabirun. What else do we hear? When someone says Takbir, then we say Allahu Akbar. Takbir, right? Someone shouts that. What else do we hear? We hear we heard the word. There's one more that I'm looking for. The one that we all detest. We detest. Kibr. Kibr. Which means what? Pride. See what happened here? We have Kabir, Kibr, Akbar, Kabiron, Takbir. This is the science that I was talking about. Sarf. It's, not, it's kind of like roots. That's one word, it has just several offshoots. And I'll give you an example why. May I? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. That was. Uh, uh, when, I, when I say may I, may, may I push your hand up? Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Um, or may I just turn So. First thing first, what about kibber? What does kibber mean? You said pride. Pride or arrogance. Or oh, arrogance. Yeah, arrogance. Mm -hmm. Do we know about anybody who had arrogance in the Quran? Shaitan. So. Shaitan. Uh, what is shaitan's sin? 
It's arrogance. It's arrogance. Yeah, it's, it's but what does he call people to? Drinking, alcoholism, ruining their lives. Would he do it? Never. Never, never, never. Right? All he wants, all he will do is he will be arrogant. But he will never lie himself. He will never, he will never get involved in those things himself. But he'll tell you to do it. Right? That's his sin. And Allah SWT says, nobody will enter Jannah if they have a, no one will enter paradise if they have a? Mustard seed. A seed, a mustard seed, a small seed of arrogance in their heart. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, this thing right here, it can kill us. Mm -hmm. it, can, it can ruin everything. Mm -hmm. You know? Like many times, you know, you have like a, a, a dam. And your, this, your dam is your good deeds. It's all this water. And it's ready to serve the people. But somebody has put a wall in between it and serving everybody. And everybody benefiting from you. And the water getting to where it's got to be. What is that dam? It's this. It's, a good it's, holding up, it's holding up all the good deeds. And you know water? It has pressure. You know? A dam can only hold for so long. Till the water or the good deeds, they overwhelm it. And they say, no, we're not, we're not waiting for you anymore. Right? Even a submarine, it can only go, it can go into the water, but only so low. Yeah. Because the pressure of the water will, will break the submarine itself. Right? And the pressure of good deeds will destroy a dam. And the water will come through. Right? Yeah. So this is the concept of kibber. Now, we say Allahu Akbar. And we say Kabir. So think about how these words have a relationship with each Kibber. When you when you have that arrogance in your heart, who do you think I'm? I'm Mr. Yeah. Big stuff. Yeah. I walk like this, you know, I got I strut my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Every time I go somewhere, I gotta brush the dirt off my shoulders, you know. 